Hello guys, this is Titan's Beats, and today I'm doing Mission 2 on the Halo 3 Remake mod, No Death Legendary playthrough, and I've got the score, the Legendary, the Iron Skull, and the Grunt Birthday Party. There's one part that I struggle on a lot on this mission, and it's like one of the parts where you get a lot of brutes. Um, mainly because this mod he, uh, adds a lot of new ranks of brutes, I'm pretty sure, than the base game. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Thing. Now the commander, her the red brutes the take three hits, where the blue ones take two. Mainly because there's just so much more, like motion trackers, we um Down. different brutes to get used to. So wherever there's a scowl on this mod, there's a gun. No, but for this what? one, there's the, for the, this scowl here, there's Bandit's a carbine in here. But um. Any birds less than five well, the other scale on this map is actually is a scale like a normal scale. Come on, sir. I'll show you the way. Um, base was built. For I was, I was maybe seven. thinking, uh, it would be like the same as the scan, but it was just literally the, the normal scale location, and it was like this scale. So, Get those turrets up. Watch your so I thought like fire. maybe because uh, every like I thought like there was no scale in the last mission I did. Your the same weapon as the Master Chief. rifle again. I thought that was going to be the same for this, but it wasn't. Blood got in the hang is real short-handed, We don't get there quick. They're going to get rolled. So this uh, carbine shoots like a bird. Chief, like, well, it shoots two good. bullets at the, at the same time. My fire teams are spread thin. We can't hold out forever. I need that hangar clear for evac ASAP. Which I like to use for this part right here. So on this part here, you get these like new grunts, they're like shield grunts, they sort of act like the, um, like you know those sentinels on Halo 2 that have shields? Sort of like those, they're quite tough. If I shoot them like as shields. And they've also um holding plasma rifles, the red ones. Here they go! So out here, I like using the um, better rifle than the hard one. Wipe those bastards off the deck! <laughs> well, watch out for your team grenade. Ah, like your team grenades. Oh. Well, that was an accident. On my way. There's usually, I think, three phantoms that come in around that. So all of them, all of them work with taking the armor by a plasma, um, plasma pistol. That works like taking the armor and headshotting them. Like any brute will get headshotted once their armor's off. But like. For their armor though, to take it off with any other gun, it will take way more shots depending on their armor. The red one's quite tough.
stuff for shot. My main focus are more the arc woods front and watching my range without front grenades. Those grunts against like you and see me are just so powerful. And they take a lot of hits. But if you can try and kill everything while they jump out, it's gonna make your, your life a lot easier. Suicide um, run. So once the Phantom comes, you can sort of uh, leave this area. Hey, you hear that? Yeah. There's usually two of those those SMGs, which the SMGs are pretty bad in this, so. I just say, um, swap the SMGs of plasma rifles. They're gonna do a lot better with them. We're with you, sir. Barracks are under attack. All available combat teams respond. So now you're gonna be killing a bunch of drones, and the plasma rifles are really good, but so is the assault the rifles. They're both really good against, now. like, the drones. Sir, this way! Look! Coming out of the vents! Line them up! Line them up! What the hell are those things, Sergeant? Drone! All swarm! And come down! Short control burst! Get on the roof, maybe. Lol. Alright. If I try to hook up a timer, it might go off. So which I'm getting up to the hardest part in the whole game. What I like to do what I've found the easiest to do is um bring a bunch of shotguns and better rifles with me. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. Can I see a medic or something? Mm. I think I broke something. Right, and I might try and get one more. Um, so I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna give the uh, better off to that marine there, just so I can quickly go get another one real quick. Clean those bugs out, good, sir. Sergeant Johnson's waiting for you upstairs. Roots have taken the barracks. Marines are trapped inside. Those apes ain't much for mercy, Chief. We both know what they do to prisoners. Get to the barracks. Save those men. Then escort them to the landing pad for evac.
Maybe if I push some of these marines in, they will give me more, um... Hopefully that AR, uh, the better rifle doesn't, like, get covered by the door. Mm. Hopefully not. This is the hardest part in this mission by far that I'm having the most trouble with. There's another better rifle there too. I think one of my better rifles did get covered by the door area. I really need to kill that brute shot. Brute with the... So those brutes there, the green ones, they will take uh Oh god. I really hate this part. Probably need to concentrate. So those um like the guns that you can hold two of, it's like the, it's like a like a shoot a shotgun sort of gun. Um, they're like sniper rifles. Two of them will kill you. Three of them maybe. I'm not too sure. I like to just stay up here and try and kill all the snipers if I can. When you walk back. They'll actually go back that way, they won't rush ya. And if that gravity hammer guy comes in, I like to throw that there. Can I get back around pretty easy? Yep. And then the brute, the brute with the gravity hammer will turn around. And then you can shoot him, and then he'll turn around again. They're all like brutes where, um, and yeah, it's really dark to see, so I don't know why. I would have loved to my other better rifle though. Still get it? No. I don't know why the lights get so, like, I don't know why this gets so dark. What I need to do is get this better rifle, the bullets over here and come back. <clears throat> Anybody that tries to rush you, they're going to turn back when, they, when you're behind the shield. They're going to run back to this position. Which, if that's what you want, so you can just keep shooting at him. Shooting at him. All these shields they put up.
carbine and their other guns, they're like snipers. Well, not the carbine as such, but you know, the carbine's like the same as it normally is. It's still dangerous. Not as dangerous as those green brutes. Got another one. That guy with the gravity is running at me. I wish they wouldn't go hide so much. He's got that sniper gun, so does he. I want to try and do something, it's going to be risky. Though. Just by running back there, you're going to set the positions of all the brutes normally. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Can't be too much more bad than have, not having to worry about that guy with the gravity in my side. I literally, because I, I learned that on one of my just practice playthroughs, like literally just before, by putting the shield there, it'll make that guy with the gravity hammer not, um, like he'll turn around and you actually won't attack you. I'm not too sure if the other brutes will fall for it as well, they probably will because they're brutes, but. What you want to do here, you don't, uh, is try not attack the drones, let them just go past. Otherwise, you can have drones to worry about. Half with insects. The prophets use you like they use me. Protect their lives. Rebel. Or all your hives will perish. Alright, what I like to do here, I'll be able to um, sort of take the armor off the brutes. And then I can. Um, no! Oh, no, please! If he can take the armor off, we might just keep coming. His plant and rifles will strip the armor off them very fast. I also like having dual players with rifles at this point too. Take 
take care of any jackals or anything else. Um, the red plasma rifles are just so much stronger than the blue ones in the on like from the base game, they're just so strong. Against everything. It's after. I really don't know where Arbiter is. So pretty much the plan for us is to take the shield down so this literally take the shield down so fast. What are you doing, Arbiter? You've been a helpful teammate. Oh god. One's got a brick shot. I need to stay away from walls as much as possible. Arbiter dying. I'll be not so <clears throat> Plus the brutes on this mod carry plasma rifles pretty much for all their guns, or they, they carry this gun. Well, this is another way of taking their armor out and keep shocking. Blue, blue, um, and red take two. The captains will take three or four. This gun's like a sniper, so it's got no scope, though. Sadly, like no scope when you scope like that. Did, did you just? Leave? I'm pretty sure. Well, they're just gonna hide like little. I had him. He's in cover. Just what we need. It's probably a bit more harder to use, to be honest. Just a ragey. Me and Arps have both got dual plasma rifles.
I was in a bad situation there when he had the wall. I was Let panicking. Let us move the up to the head. There is a lift outside. But this gun's just harder to use in general than anything else. You only have to the body twice, you don't have to like headshot them or anything. Commander, we lost the op center. Brutes attacked in force. Couldn't hold them off. Rolling back to the hangar. But don't wait for us. Should I do, ma'am? Hold position. I'm not leaving without them. Alright, so this next part's gonna have a bunch of uh, brutes and jetpacks. Or jetpack brutes. That can be pretty lethal at times. I normally have a lot more marines at the time. Not as much survive, so that just means I'm gonna have less team to try and help me. But I, I do the same thing, I try and like let Arbiter take down the shields and like chop the brutes. Otherwise, I'll try and help them taking their shields down. Going after the thrusters. Shake them off, Lieutenant. Drag away! Take Doing your job, not in mine. Because I'm hiding around here, he's hiding around here too. Maybe if I go here, he'll come and fight. All I need him to do is take down these shields and I can headshot them. Alright, this is going to take far too long. I've got no bullets on my carbine to take the shield. I can still do it like this, but it's just gonna take a lot longer.
Yes, we got the um guy with the brute shot. Oh, some more. God damn. just killed itself. <clears throat> I'll take that. Normally Arv's is stripping their shield while I'm shot, but not doing it this time. Sometimes a broke glitched up here, so I was wondering why the door from above was not opening. I'm not above, but just down here. Only why those drones and stuff were not coming out, but uh, that um, it was because. Not if I should take one of them or not. Because that brute was up there, and that's why. That was doing that. Um, Brutes in the op center. They disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander. There were too many, even for me. So I got up here get to, really quick to get an invisibility because. Rearm the bomb. It makes it so I've you can assassinate this, this, uh, like, the guy exit. that's got Good the, luck. um, fuel rod. Because if you don't assassinate him, it's gonna make it a lot more harder than it is. So I just say swap one of those and then just take all these, these two weapons. You could probably actually jump through the window. I thought I was actually going to fall to my death just then, which wasn't good. Maybe don't jump through that window, maybe just walk back, it'll be a lot safer. You will be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. There's a bunch of grunts and jackals and some of those shield grunts again, soon enough. I always like to shoot those just so that it can't leave me a problem later. Whereas I'm walking and they shoot it.
Yeah, that's definitely a dumb idea, jumping. Um. One of them I took their shield, since while I was looking for the one that I did, take the one that I took their shield. One was just a red grunt. It might be. Oh, there's two jackal snipers up there too. Which you've got to watch out for. Down those jackets now. I won't forget about them and regret it. No, you. You do not go there. Um, he's gonna try it too. I'm pretty sure there was uh, a battle rifle over here or something, I picked up some bullets. going into the part that I was talking about that you want to get a invisibility. <sighs> Alright, so my shield's there from before. We have taken the command center. Have you discovered how they plan to stop me? Not as yet, no will come. Find me what I need to know. Your place on the path is important. So you want to assassinate that guy with the fuel rod. Stick that guy. I had a bad experience running up here too fast and he just lays at me. There's another three or two brutes. I really don't know where they've gone though. That made it a lot easier for that brute just standing there. There's a thing that it, this mission does at the end of it. It, like, it, it goes like, like dark, goes a bit to light, which it can be a bit of, it can be a bit annoying sometimes. Like exactly like that. I think that's there. I don't want that. I had another bad experience, there's some jackal snipers, or jackal carbines, I'm not actually too sure what they are. There's two of them. I've got to remember about them.
just don't like this going dark. Back to light, because when the jackal sniper or even carbine, they can still see the image. I like to kill everything. Oh boy. Out. I'll see. Straight to the cage. Seeing the pistols did quite a lot of damage to the pink grunts though. Well that's really the hardest part now, there's not too much more that's really hard. It's just you gotta get to the elevator and just clear it off. You'll uh, have the mission done. I, I just say don't rush for it if you try and do it in your flips, just take your time. Like I'm doing. They will stop and try and attack you, they, it looks like they're running away so you can like run past them. But they will they will decide to stop and attack you. Don't know where the drones go though. The drones when I do this, drones, I don't have to fight. Oh god, I've got some pink grunts are here again, I'm pretty sure. And some ones. At this point, sticking any pink grunts is not a bad idea. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Because the pink, the plasma will actually take down the shield too. There isn't much time, Chief. Find that elevator. I'm more worried about that grunt and that plasma than the jackals. The jackals are easy. I don't know what it is with this mission, but it goes really dark sometimes, it's like, it's really hard to see. Definitely like, the reason why I'm just like, it's really good. They are very deadly. And that's literally mission 2 for Halo 3. On this mod, Deathless. This place will become your home.
This place will become your tomb. Alright, thank you guys for watching and please be sure to subscribe if you like my content and I'll see you in the next video when I can manage to pass it.